Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Pipe Wrench, voted Knoxville's best plumbing and HVAC company. Same day service guaranteed, or the visit is free. Can't beat that. And I've used these folks for a kitchen sink issue. It was simple, timely, perfect. Visit pipewrench.com to learn more about them. They've got more than 60 trucks all over East Tennessee every single day. That's how same day service is guaranteed. Piperinch.com to learn more. All right, uh, one final segment with Jimmy, John, and then Bob and I are just standing here. Uh, Jimmy, we know you're walking away from the daily grind. You're going to continue to be a part of the Sports Horse yes. family, which I appreciate. But what you've got a grandson mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, you've got a family member in New York. Does this mean more travel for you? Absolutely. And, and more look, golf? And I, yes, more golf, more tennis, pickleball, uh, kayaking. Yeah, I want to be doing a lot of stuff. My, I'll start the travels. We're, Monday we're going down to Palm. Oh, okay. So Good place looking to start. Forward, it's a great place to start. So we're, but yeah, there'll be a lot of a uh, lot more travel, and I'm just I tried to think of this as like a vacation. It's a 20 year vacation. A long vacation. <laughs> long vacation. Hopefully long. Red's yeah. Ice House. Yeah. Red's Ice House. When oh, you, okay. You, okay. Red's, it's Mount Pleasant, but you got to go by it. Oh to yeah, get to I'll Alabama. go by there. Red, okay. Uh, and John. Uh, let me go ahead. You're, like I say, you're, you're an institution in this in this town now. Or I belong mean, in one. Or belong in one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, uh, the number of radio jobs you have held down over the years and the fact that you do them all at the same time. I mean, you, the, the daily grind of a radio show plus the high school football plus the Vol Network stuff, then you do the baseball stuff. I mean, you are a working man. Uh, and you're going to continue to work. Let me go ahead and put up the graphic here. We'll do a little promotion for the sports animal. Uh, sports Talk with John and Vince, keeping the name, moving it to the morning show. Eric Ainge and Brian Rice follow that up. Josh and Swain, and then Tyler Robbins and Will West will be taking over the 3-7 to seven slot. That debuts Tuesday, April 11th, so you're kind of in a transition period right now, correct? correct? We have a gap week. Okay, gap <laughs> week, and then you start Tuesday 11th. Tell me about your morning show. Looking forward to it. Uh, one, very important to keep the name going. This, uh, in September, the name of Sports Talk will be 35 years old. So, Started with Alan Williams. Uh, Alan Williams for Mike, one year. Then Mike Keith Mike for Keith a decade. Mike Keith for nine. Yeah. Me and Jimmy for a while. <laughs> but you now, should rub that into Mike's face. <laughs> nine, nine, that's a good run. <laughs> Mike, when he joined us uh, last week as part of the last week of our time together. It, it was really something because he shared a bit of that history and, and then also had so many nice things to say. He goes, because he said, we pushed it. He said, I was able to take it this far and you guys have taken it farther than I ever could. And, and we know that's not true because Mike is Mike. But uh, again, very blessed to have been able to do that and very thankful that we get to continue the name. But I'm excited. Vince and I have worked together for a long time. And, and I think that uh, if there's anybody who could approach sliding into a seat like that, it would be the relationship, the working relationship that Vince and I have. That's good. Um, and it'll give you an opportunity to, you're not going to be having to sit there during a radio show filling out lineup cards. <laughs> yeah. stuff. We'll have a little time between games now. That will um, help. And I will be a first-time caller, long-time listener. Right? There you go. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Um, but I will say this, just very quickly, if, if not for watching this man do so many things, have so many different irons in the fire, it was a huge lesson for me to let the tail stop wagging the dog that it was to approach everything as opposed to let everything come at you. Yeah. And so that's one of the most important things that had benefited, fed, benefited me greatly. And also, I, another plug for your guys and for you, I almost forgot, you are going to continue your Sunday morning football show with Tim Irwin. That's correct. correct. I'm going to do uh, the Sunday morning show with Tim Irwin. I'm going to do football finals with Fawad Reves on Saturday. Oh, okay, good deal. Didn't yeah. know that. Excellent. So we'll Fine. do that. And I'm going to cover the SEC spring meetings and help with the SEC football media days. So people still hear yeah. you on 991 The Sports Animal on occasion. Correct. Just good not deal. as much. All right. Uh, Bob, anything? we got about a minute here. Anything you want to praise? Anything, you know, lots of they're things. Good, they're I want, good guys. Lots of things I want to praise. They're, I mean, it, it's, it, there, there's too much to get into. But for both of you guys, Jimmy, for a long time, you've been the best sports reporter in Knoxville. Uh, I mean, bar none. Yep. John Wilkerson knows more sports history <laughs> than, than I, I literally would have to have a computer in front of me and somebody say something. If I was on the air, said, yeah, I know that. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. And, and so that's what both of you guys brought to that show. 
I, I mean, I, I just think Jimmy is, is second to none and has been for the 30, almost 40 years you've been in the market. And I've been blessed to know both of you up, uh, away from this stuff. You're, you're better guys than you are on air guys. That's, you're better off air than you are on air, and that's saying something. Thanks to both of you. Congratulations on 25 great years. We'll see you next Sunday. Thank you.